I'm the director of engineering for what's called the Novus team at BigBear.ai. BigBear is a predictive analytics company. It's in mostly the federal space, and we've recently made inroads into manufacturing and healthcare. We started looking at ETL tools, something that could let us be more nimble, put more junior people, um, and that led us to NIME. Initially, what brought us to it was, I mean, number one, the cost of being open source. Particularly in the government environment, we had to get it accredited and bring it in, and that was much easier as an open source tool. Now for projects, it's our familiarity with it, as well as the low barrier to entry for it. So Nine was just kind of really common ground for everyone. He didn't have to be a Python programmer, didn't have to be a Java programmer. It was something where we could all open up a workflow and everyone just kind of follow the flow and, and understand it. We had great success with it to the point where we started to build custom connectors and just integrate it with our platform more and more. In the healthcare realm, we're integrating with hospitals, a lot of different, you know, customer proprietary systems. And they needed people, you know, sometimes it's the hospital analyst, the business analyst, sometimes it's some of their engineering resources. Even their operations staff, when it's starting to collect some of their operational data. When we first introduced users to NIME, we always have them start with the NIME Hub, the central resource where workflows, components, techniques are all shared and available online for free. There's always some example in the Hub that is close to what the person's problem is or you know, similar to their exploration they're trying to do. And from there, that usually leads into the forums. The NIME community is really one of the things that keeps me involved. Is there just something about it? I don't know if it's the open source roots, but it is very open and supportive and willing to share, you know, even problems and use cases.